It's time to bring you up to speed with the latest trends of the week. The Nigerian movie industry was thrown into yet another morning as the industry lost two of its vibrant actresses, Ada Ame and Shola Onoiga, to the pounds of death within 24 hours. <laughs> Mila. Hey. Eh? Mila, what do you mean this? Every correct one. <laughs> While Ada Ahmed died on Sunday around 11 p.m. in Wari Delta State, Onoiga died on Monday morning at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital. Despite coming from two very different worlds and acting schools, both actresses left behind a treasure of cinematic work and millions of growing fans and colleagues. Moving on to international news, social media has been abuzz as the Game of Thrones star Amelia Clark has opened up about the two brain aneurysms she suffered while filming the show. The actor, 35, previously revealed she had survived two brain aneurysms in 2011 and 2013. An aneurysm is a bulge in the blood vessel caused by a weakness in the blood vessel wall, usually where it branches. Clark is willing to talk about how the events affected her going forward, most recently doing so when she was on BBC One show Sunday morning. And the impact on you physically? The amount of my brain that is no longer usable, it's remarkable that I am able to speak, sometimes articulately, and live my life completely normally with absolutely no repercussions. It is, I am in the really, really, really small minority of people that can survive that. Recall that in 2019, Clark launched a charity, Same You, which aims to raise money for those recovering from brain surgeries and stroke. <laughs> Moving on, popular high life singer Adekunle Good, aka AG Baby. AG Baby is your baby has recounted his battle with sickle cell anemia. He revealed this in a lengthy newsletter titled My Truth, where he shared with his fans on how he begged God to take his life when he was 20 years old, amongst other things. Sickle cell anemia is one of a group of inherited disorders known as sickle cell disease. It affects the shape of red blood cells, which carry oxygen to all parts of the body. Sickle cell anemia gave me hope made me tough, gave me the discipline I needed to be who I am today, built my character. I mean, I went through a whole five weeks of back-to-back -back performances and didn't fall sick, he said. Narrating his ordeal with the inherited disease, AG Baby revealed it was tough, painful, and frustrating. That shit, and big ups to me, I never give up, I just wanna win. Nigerian veteran actor Idris Abdul Karim has shared his GoFundMe account to fans and well-meaning Nigerians for his medical bill regarding his kidney transplant surgery. The renowned rapper who took to his Instagram page to give details of his GoFundMe account created to aid his medical bill said he was only waiting for the doctors to call him for the surgery. He said that he received requests on the need for a GoFundMe account. He appreciated his fans and well wishes for their show of love and support since the announcement of his health issues. I really hope he gets well soon. We crave, we ask, and they delivered. P Square is back with two new singles titled Jaye and Find Somebody. After five years of making music without each other, the veteran duo P Square, Mr. P, and Rude Boy are finally back to business. Initially, they reunited around November last year and have been on tour, but they haven't released any song. It's all about excitement as the heavyweight music duo P Square releases their first release in five years. Even better, it came in double fold with two new singles titled Jaye and Find Somebody. Both records were written and produced by the duo and Jaye comes with an accompanying music video. If you haven't seen the video, you should. That's all on this week's Social Trends. Bye for now.